Today, I am here to talk about social psychology and the many things we have learned about it. Although social psychology is only a small branch of psychology, we have been introduced to so many vital and important people and ideas. But to start off, I'm going to ask you a question. What is social psychology? This question has many responses, and the majority of them being very similar answers. So I'm going to give you the definition one by one. Uh, So-called founding fathers of social psychology, Gordon Alport. According to Alport, social psychology is the study of how people's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are influenced by the actual, imagined, or implied presence of others. As in the study of psychology, social psychology also includes the psychological factors that are measurable in human being. The next part in the definition pertaining to the imagined or implied basically states that people are susceptible to social influences even if no other people are present. Now that we went over the definition, I'm going to come back to Gordon Alport and his brother Floyd Alport. Gordon was a pioneering psychologist who was best remembered for his contributions to the trait theory of personality. Gordon decided that there was a hierarchy of three levels, cardinal traits, central traits, and secondary traits. Cardinal traits are traits that people are typically known for, traits that dominate one's life. Central traits are described as general characteristics that form the basic foundations of personality or major characteristics you would use to describe someone, such as intelligent, honest, shy, etc. Lastly, secondary traits are traits that sometimes relate to an attitude and are usually shown in certain situations. This th theory helps stress the characteristics that capture what a person is actually like. Now moving on to Gordon's brother, Floyd Alport. Floyd was actually labeled the father of experimental social psychology, and he was known for his idea of social fallification, also known as the audience effect. This audience effect is the tendency for people to perform differently when in the presence of a group or another person rather than alone. An everyday example of this is running by yourself or running with friends. You would most likely strive with more people. One of the main effects that we discover in Floyd's idea is social loafing which is when people are putting less effort when they're working in groups versus when people are working individually. The effect was that the larger the group, the less work people would put in on an assignment. Now Floyd's idea, social qualification, and Gordon's trait theory are very important and helped explain a lot. Social psychology is not just about looking at social influences. So psychology also looks at a wide range of social topics, including group behavior, social perceptions, conformity, and many more.